on the yellow side. Lloyd, talk about your brother, Gary. Okay, Gary's the brains of the family and the leaving sort is yet to prove that. He's um, a <laughs> very successful traveller and he likes staying in new hustles. He has, from the new hustles, he has friends all over the world and he likes writing to them. Mm -hmm. He's big into Irish music as well and he was at Fail in 90 last year and he hopes to go again this year to Fail in 91. Um, he enjoys doing jogging and sponsored jogs for charity and sponsored fast and good luck to win Lou. Very good, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Well, that's uh, a nice thing for your brother to say about you so yeah. maybe you could do the same him. Gary, talk about Lloyd. Okay, Lloyd, he's a student at UCD and he's studying arts his first year and uh, at the moment he's a journalist for the College Tribune, that's a paper for the UCD. Uh, he's doing great in there. Uh, he's into reading, writing articles for the College Tribune. Um, <laughs> Game is later, Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> he likes the outdoor activity. He likes going out on camps and all that, or in turn. And he likes, he's doing a parachute jump for uh, cancer research during the summer. So Very best good. of luck to him. Lloyd, did you tell me earlier on that you had an incriminating photograph of me that uh, you might I have indeed, of a, of a man with his toy wrapped around you. So. Oh, really? Uh, well, say no more, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome, and thanks for being with us. It'll have to be nice to learn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, on the red side, let's say hello to uh, Joseph and Roisin. Come on in. <laughs> You're very welcome. Joseph, talk about Roisin. Um, hope and glory. Um, you've Gloria here, you've got... Um, you've got... <laughs> Uh, land and uh, honour, and uh, you've got uh, land. Uh, you've got war. You've got uh, crying. Uh, you've got. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. Glory! Well done. You got seven there, I think. Well done. Excellent for Lloyd and Gary. Okay, Joseph and Roisin are coming back over to us now and see if they can work out what you were talking about here, because I can't. <laughs> All right, they did very well. They got seven altogether. There's three key words down here. You can steal the seven points. Uh, they didn't say of, fight, or fame. They didn't say of, fight, or fame. What do you think? Of, fight, or fame. Boxer, Bruno? Tyson? <laughs> no, not Boxer, Bruno, or Tyson. It was actually glory they were talking about. Yeah. But they said all the other end of it, so hard luck on that. You hang on okay. to your points, very good. Lloyd and Gary, back over you go. And uh, for Roisin and Joseph, your first round of Talk About, and uh, a chance for you to talk about either hunger or thirst. Hunger. Hunger. Hunger? hunger? Mm -hmm. Definitely hunger, okay. Who'd like to go first? I will. All right, Roisin, hunger, 20 seconds, starting now. Hunger causes malnutrition, um, it causes pain, people get very thin, um, CARA is an organization that helps people in Ethiopia, in the third world, in um, far off countries. People have um, hunger problems because they just don't have the crops to grow. Okay, you got two on the third world there, Roisin. Joseph, take it over. 20 seconds on hunger. Okay, hunger, you got the as I said, third world, Ethiopia. There's a band aid concert for starving people. There's a lot of uh, starving people in Dublin. Um, <laughs> Uh, Gorta helped them an awful lot. There's uh, the regions in Africa that have been helped out. Um. It's, a, it's a difficult topic to talk about. Well done. We've got three all together for Joseph and Roisin. And uh, Gary and Lloyd are coming back over to us now. They've got three, okay? So a chance for you to uh, steal the three points from them if you can work out what they were talking about. Here they are on the screen for you. Food, weak, strike, jail, Sudan, need, and die. Food week, strike, jail, Sudan, need, and die. Any ideas? Famine. Not famine, but it means the same thing as hunger, actually, we were talking about. That was the word we needed. Sorry about that. You hang on to your three points. Well done. Okay, once again to the headphones there, and uh, back to Lloyd and Gary with another couple for you. All right, your choice this time is for either honesty or policy. Honesty, I hate, hate politics, so we'll take honesty. Honesty, right. okay, well, fair enough, all right. Uh, okay. Are you going to go, go first, first again, oh, yeah. man, Lloyd, fair play to you. Do I. <laughs> honesty, 20 seconds, starting now. Okay, honesty is the best policy. Honesty is when you tell the truth to your friends. Um, if you're not honest, you tell lies. Um, honesty, you don't rob anything from shops. You, you're a good person, basically. You like um, being good and doing what's truthful, um, justice, 
honest, um, it's good goodness. Um. Five, very good. And I mean, you laughed and everybody laughed when you said lie, but I mean, you got a point for it because lie is in there as well. Okay, Gary, 20 seconds on honesty. Okay, honesty is where you don't tell uh, the, the right, uh, it's a white lie, you've got, you go to jail, you've got crimes, uh, you've got fraud, you've got, um, oh, <laughs> uh, uh, crimes, uh, white audio. lies, uh, your friend, uh, Rob, uh, <laughs> pickpocket. <laughs> Okay, you got eight all together. Very good score. Excellent. Right, Joseph and Roisin back over here. This could be a big one for them to steal away from you. Uh, they got eight all together. Two words left in there. I'm sure it'll be difficult enough. Let's have a look and see what they didn't say. They didn't say Frank and they didn't say trust. Frank and trust. Frank and trust. Okay. What do you think? Honest. Honest, yes. Yes. Honesty, honest, yes, we give it to you on that. Well done, you get the eight points. <laughs> It'll be very powerful. You know, Arthur Murphy's on our back these days, you know. <laughs> People will be writing into him. Okay, that's brilliant, you, you've stolen those points. One more time then, we're going to ask uh, Lloyd and Gary to go back Still over talk. once again. And uh, the final two before the cash round coming up for you. That was a very good steal, excellent stuff. Uh, you can either talk this time about the plough or the stars. Plough or stars? Stars. 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 Okay. Do you want to go first, Joseph, yeah, this time? Is. Why not? Okay, stars, 20 seconds, starting now. Okay, stars are at night time. It's dark at night time. The stars are out. There's a film star. Uh, you can have a plow star. There's a plow star. Uh, stars, film star. Stars, twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> now it's <laughs> arrived. <laughs> um, <laughs> anything else, night. <laughs> Beautifully red. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> I've got a funny feeling your friends in the restaurant are going to start calling you Twinkle. Maybe, <laughs> <not>. <laughs> okay, Roisin, take it up from there. Stars, 20 seconds. Okay, stars um, shine at night. Stars are um, in the heavens. Um, people are stars and they're famous. Um, um, any clue? Um, um, <laughs> they all have hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great clue. Well done. <laughs> you got three. You're made of three, but uh, you never know. It's, it is a, a difficult topic. Okay, final time. Lloyd and Gary coming back over to us here. Right. They got three, right? The scores are now 14 to Joseph and Roisin and seven to yourself, so there's not actually a lot you can do here. But let's have a look anyway. Uh, sky, Moon, Pop, Rock, Stripes, Lucky, Trek. Sky, Moon, Pop, Rock, Stripes, Lucky, Trek. Star. Seven. Star. Yes, Star. stars. Yes, you got it on that. Well done. Ah, oh, so close. It's 11 against 10, which means that we have to say goodbye to yeah, Lloyd we get and Gary. Next. You get a dictionary, you see? This Thanks. is it. Bring that home. That's great. Thanks. Very good. Okay. Well done. That's Thanks. Lloyd and Gary. Thanks for playing the game. Cheers. Okay, over you come, Joseph. It's time to play for a little bit of cash on Talk About tonight and uh, a chance for you to talk either about Porrig Flynn or Dinosaur. Porrig Flynn or Dinosaur. <laughs> Okay. Dinosaurs. So you got to go for dinosaur. Yeah. Unanimous about that one. Yeah. Who's going to talk? He's going to talk. I'm going to give it. <laughs> okay, Joseph, you're going to talk. You think about dinosaur because you're going to okay. need to come back and give us at least one word. Okay. okay. I'm with the headphones over there, Roisin. Here we go. It's ten pounds a keyword. We wish you the best of luck, and uh, we're talking about dinosaurs. Twenty seconds begins now. Okay, they're animals. They're prehistoric animals. Uh, they're monsters. <laughs> they're nothing. Yeah. They're, uh, Oh, God. They're, they don't eat meat. They eat uh, vegetarians. They come from the Ice Age. Um, dinosaurs. Uh, yeah, well, you got three of them anyway, which makes it 30 pounds. Not bad at all. Very nice. All right, Joseph, under a little bit of pressure there you were, but let's have a look and see what you didn't say. You got the first three in order and all. Extinct, bones, skeleton, baby, Film, books, and museums. And see if there's one of those that you can uh, that you can sort of tell Roisin without me looking. Uh, museums, books, film, baby skeleton, bones. Mm. Yeah, one of those. Okay. Let's get her back up. Do you think she'll do it? Yes, she will. Yeah, she will. Okay. We hope she will. <laughs> okay, we're going for sixty pounds. We've got thirty so far. So uh, there's another. There's another. Uh, just one more word. We've got three <laughs> seconds to do it. All right. <laughs> three seconds to do it. All right. <laughs> and your time starts now. 
large extinct animals that came extinct? from Extinct, yes, you got it on that. Well done, 60 pounds. Yeah. Very good. Join us again next week and talk about well done to Roisin and Joseph. See you next time. Bye-bye. Well done.